The government's unveiled plans for an agricultural science hub near Christchurch that will involve some 900 staff. The move will see three of New Zealand's largest Crown Research Institutes share resources and work more closely together. But as Mike Thorpe reports, it could be a case of back to the future. Proposals where they are. The last time ag research, land care and plant and foot and food were formally aligned, it was 1992 and the national government was in the throes of dissecting the Department of Scientific and Industrial Research. So is today's announcement winding the clock back 21 years? I don't think it actually is uh, bringing the entities together but it's certainly co-locating. Joining the three former DSIR partners are Lincoln University and Derry New Zealand, a five strong hub that hopes to be a world leader. We have five organisations who have worked through this and decided that they actually can do better by working more closely and more smart, smartly together. And the location certainly ticks both of those boxes. This busy Lincoln intersection is about to get even busier with brand new facilities proposed to be built here in 2014 as well as here. Now it's right across the road from where New Zealand's finest agricultural minds are studying at Lincoln University and directly opposite New Zealand's largest Crown Research Institute. Ag Research is dipping into a $100 million development fund to kick-start the project. Ag Research's assumption will be um, firstly by selling underutilised assets, primarily properly, property, second, uh, retained earnings, so the profit streams, and thirdly, from, uh, from debt. It's clear the government has high hopes for that investment. Our primary industries were about $30 billion per year at the moment. We've set a target of doubling that by 2025. With other industry heavyweights also looking to join the hub, that could double even sooner. Mike Thorpe, One News.